In this lecture, we are going to discuss about scalar triple product. For a given set of three vectors, A, B, and C, the dot product of one of the vectors with the cross product of the other two vectors gives us a scalar triple product. As the name of the scalar triple product suggests that the resultant of A dot into B cross C will always be a scalar quantity. It involves dot and cross products, but it is necessary to perform the cross product before the dot product when we are wanna compute the scalar triple product. The value of the product depends upon the cycle order of the vectors. The value of the product changes if the order is non-cyclic. So here you can see we have A dot into B cross C. And uh, in the second case, uh, by keeping the cycle order of the vectors B dot into C cross A. And in the third case, C dot into A cross B. Here, A dot B is a scalar and uh, its cross with C is meaningless. It means that we can't perform a cross product between a scalar and vector. Suppose we have a three vectors uh, having components uh, in the direction of each unit vectors, i, j, k respectively. Then uh, a dot into b cross c can be possibly written in the form of determinant having three rows. The first row consists of uh, components of uh, vector a, the second, uh, consists of components of vector B, and the third consists of vectors of components of vector C. The rules of interchanging rows and columns of a determinant provide an immediate verification of the permutation, where you can see the symmetry of the A, B, and C in the determinant suggests the other relation, like this and here. So at the end, you get C dot into A plus B. The dot and cross products are interchangeable. If, uh, but important is you should keep the order of the vectors. So in that case, A dot into B cross C would be same A cross B dot C. If uh, three vectors circularly shifted, the scalar triple product remains unchanged. As uh, you can see here, the result which we will get from the this product will be equal to the this one and similarly to this one. Here is the geometrical interpretation of scalar triple product. A cross V dot C indicates the volume of parallel pipette where three edges denote three vectors, A, B, and C. Among these three sides, the cross product of two vectors, A and B, gives the area of the base. And that is here you can see. And uh, the direction of this new vector A cross B is uh, perpendicular to both vectors A and B. The height is given by a component of the third vector C along the direction of A cross B and that is C cos of phi. And uh, phi is the angle between uh, A cross B vector and C vector. So it means A cross B magnitude gives the area of the parallelogram and uh, direction of this vector, this vector A cross B is uh, perpendicular to this uh, parallelogram or base. The height is denoted by C cos of phi, where phi is the angle between C and A cross B. Now, if uh, any one of the three vectors is of zero magnitude, then we will get A cross B dot C equal to zero. And uh, if uh, all of the three vectors are coplanar, it means all of the three vectors are in the same plane. In that case, we will get also A dot into B cross C is equal to zero. So it means that in that case, the parallel pipette defined by the vectors A, B, and C would be flat and uh, has no volume. So dear students, uh, that's all for the today's lecture. Please subscribe to my channel and share the lecture with your friends.